What's up guys, it's your boy X back at you again with another video today. And today we're gonna do another tattoo story time. And this time we're gonna talk about how going to art school impacted my career as a tattoo artist. So probably the first thing we're gonna jump into is talk about how I felt about my current skill level, or well not my current skill level, but my past skill level, um, as well as my mindset on what I thought about classical training or going to art school. So back before I went to art school, um, you know, I thought I was relatively a pretty good artist. You know, I felt like I had a lot of uh, raw talent, you know, a lot of potential, you know, and I also did a lot of studying on my own. I kind of had the mentality that if you know, I wanted to know something, I, I should just teach myself. And the people that I surrounded myself with at the same time too kind of had a, a negative uh, outlook on, on going to art school as if, you know, it was kind of something useless that they knew everything already, like they learned everything before they had even, uh, you know, took the classical approach or that they had taken a few classes and felt that it was worthless. So that kind of had rubbed off on me. Um, you know, I was a young kid, I was like 18, 19, and you know, I had been used to doing everything myself. And at the same time, I also didn't have a lot of money, so it wasn't very feasible for me to be going to art school at the time. Um, I had applied to a couple places, but really couldn't afford to go. You know, going to a really nice art school is probably around like $40,000 a year. Um, so, you know, I had resigned myself to reading books and, uh, you know, going on the internet, seeing what I could see, and then just practicing as much as I could. So that's pretty much what I did um, until, you know, I moved to Arizona. Once I moved here to Arizona, I probably did about a year just doing my normal routine, working um, at the shop that I was currently working at at the time. And then I met a group of artists uh, really amazing tattoo artists uh, that are good friends of mine uh, to this day and you know we were at a bar and we were sitting down talking about you know improving and you know getting to the next level artistically and ways to you know expedite that process and what I had gathered from all of them from sitting there talking to them you know is that all of them took the time to go to art school and that all of them felt that it was inappropriate and irresponsible, you know, just to be trying to use your clients as like test subjects and wing it and trying to figure out what you're going to do in the fly without having any real structure or real, um, you know, classical training to, you know, really make those decisions with you know real purpose behind you know every decision every decision would be deliberate so that had a really big impact on me and you know i also really wanted to get to that level that you know my peers were you know currently residing on so i took it upon myself to enroll in art school and my idea behind the whole thing was I'm going to completely forget what I think I know about art. You know, I'm going to completely deconstruct my entire knowledge of what I think art is and how art should be created and completely rebuild that with a stronger foundation that's rooted in a classical approach um, to training an artist. So that's what I did. I started at the very beginning for art classes. I com or I completely skipped over the prereqs because honestly, that's completely useless to me. Um, I've already started my career. You know, I've, I have been tattooing, uh, let's see, at this point, you know, probably about four, five years, something like that. And uh, you know, I'm I'm already I'm already doing what I'm gonna do for life. So you know, going to get the degree doesn't really mean that much to me. What's most important to me, and it, it was and still is, was attaining 
the art knowledge and the art skills that could take my artwork and my tattooing to the next level. So that's what I focused on. I started with drawing 101 and you know I did my still life drawings, you know, boring little cubes and cones and um, spheres and things like that. You know, focused on perspective and light source and value and texture and saturation, all the basic things. You know, I just went back through and rehashed all the stuff that, you know, maybe I didn't know or things that I was just like a little rusty on. And then after that, I immediately transitioned into life drawing. Uh, which is something that I fell in love with almost immediately. I became obsessed with human anatomy and trying to, you know, figure out how to put the body together on a two-dimensional surface, uh, which is something I'm still very interested in. And it kind of directly correlated into the style that I was trying to, you know, excel in, which was black and gray realism for tattooing. So, um, yeah, I, I spent the next couple of years with uh, a PhD art instructor. Her name is Ginger Landecker. She works at Mesa Community College and she taught me a lot about life drawing. Um, yeah, and, and I, I can never thank her enough for all the stuff she showed me. Uh, outside of there, I was also still practicing the skills that I was learning in school uh, as much as I could. And what I did in my free time is I would draw all night and when I wasn't drawing I was looking for new techniques to incorporate into my realistic charcoal work um, that I wasn't learning in school so I picked up some other techniques you know practiced those tried to master them and you know after a couple years of being in school strictly for drawing I felt like I had become I had gained a competent level of skill for drawing realistic um, you know life forms realistic human anatomy realistic life drawing I feel like I've obtained you know an adequate level of that so after that you know I kind of started to notice a direct correlation from you know what I learned in school to the quality of my tattoos they started to improve uh, immensely and it was because I was able to approach my tattoos with the same critical thought process and ask myself the same questions that I was asking myself in art school you know when I was you know working on drawings like working on okay so how am I gonna create atmospheres per atmospheric perspective how am I gonna you know make sure that I don't create a tangent here um, with one form um, in the same line with another you know things like that how am I gonna create enough texture or smooth this texture out you know where's my light source coming from and it forever changed the way I see tattooing. It's forever changed, you know, how I see art, you know, the way that I feel about the classical approach now is that you can never learn enough. And for as long as I can go to school, I will go to school and I'll forever be a student to, you know, learning as much as I can. So, you know, after that I took a short, you know, sabbatical from school, probably said about a year, maybe two years, I don't know, maybe that's not that short of a sabbatical. But anyway, uh, now I'm pretty much back in school, but because of COVID and stuff, um, you know, I've, I've kind of put that on the back burner. But this time I'm, I'm in school for oil painting and, you know, I've spent the last, few years or so strictly focused on developing my black and gray realism for tattooing and I feel like I've gotten to a relatively high level of, of doing that so now it's time to go back and you know deconstruct again but for you know for color and you know trying to understand hue and chroma and temperature and all the other things that go into you know developing color uh, realism as well as I'm gonna get into some illustrative work as well neo-traditional things like that because still all the color theory and stuff that directly translates over into you know what you can do with colors and tattooing so that's pretty much where I'm at with that but since I'm on since I can't go to school right now you know I've just been painting for the most part at my house 
Um, just doing what I can in my free time and still learning as much as I can through via YouTube. Um, you know, because that's, that's the way it goes. I feel like for any aspiring artist, what's important is, you know, always seeking knowledge, always aspiring to be greater than the person that you are today. Um, you know, trying to get there tomorrow. So, you know, reading as many books as you can, going on YouTube and, you know, looking up uh, you know the modern masters that exist today because there are a lot of them that are just giving away free knowledge and it's all for the taking so you know I feel like it's best to utilize that as much as possible practice draw study you know learn new concepts apply new concepts and you know just constantly strive to be better you know because that's what professionals do you know like people People, under, under, people don't understand that, you know, the people that they look up to and aspire to in the art industry, um, animators and, you know, comic book artists and things like that, just because they're professionals, it doesn't mean that, you know, they've stopped seeking knowledge. A lot of these professionals still have weekly life drawing classes, you know, to hone their human anatomy skills. And, you know, they're, like I said, they're on a ceaseless quest to learn as much as they can about art and apply those concepts and just be better. So, you know, I try to internalize that and try to work as much as I can. And, you know, yeah, so that's pretty much how I feel. And that's the story of how, uh, you know, going to art school impacted my tattooing career. So, yeah, it's pretty much how I feel about it. The next thing that I really want to do as far as, you know, going to school goes, I would love to be able to take a year off of tattooing and go full time to an atelier, which is like an old master um, classical uh, school, you know, where they apprentice you and, you know, really drill, you know, the classical old renaissance approach to art into you. Um, and if not, if I couldn't take a year off, I'd like to at least be able to do it part-time in my free time. So hopefully after all this uh, coronavirus stuff clears up, you know, stuff starts opening back up, that'll be something that I'll be able to pursue. And then, you know, catalog via, you know, my camera right here and share it with you guys. So I hope you guys like my little story today. I hope that if you're an aspiring artist, um, you know, it gave you something, you took something away from this. And, you know, you go out there and be thirsty for knowledge, be hungry, and use that knowledge to become great and be successful. So, that's it for me, guys. Um, if you like this video, leave a comment down below. You know, it helps the algorithm promote my videos. You know, I'm trying to do content for you guys, but I need your support. Likes also help a lot, too. And, of course, please subscribe to my channel you know turn the notifications on so you can be updated whenever I drop another video for you guys which I'm gonna try and stay very very consistent coming 2021 I wanna be dropping videos every week I feel like I have been for like the last couple months but I digress it doesn't matter um, I'm, I'm trying to be very persistent very progressive very consistent with everything that I do in the 2021 you know, my goals for this upcoming year, you know, are to grow exponentially on YouTube as well as, you know, grow my skills as an oil painter, um, as well as grow my clientele base and, you know, just overall, just try and be the best person that I can be in all things that I do. So, yeah, I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See you in the next year. You know, have a good new year. Happy new year to everyone out there and everyone who's rocked with the channel this year. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.